How's it going, guys? I'm back today to bring you another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi battle. This is an NU slash PU tier match that I had with House of Wolves 100. He also uploads videos, so I'll leave his channel in the description below. I'm using a fairly uh, defensive core around Ludicolo and Wormadam ground. Uh, Ludicolo is specially defensive while Wormadam is physically. I have a uh, Lampent because at the time I was like, I see Combuskin on every single team, so I must have something that can deal with it. I have a sub Nasty Plock Jinx. I have a Stealth Rock. Uh, what's that? Sim Seismic Toad and a Choice Scarf uh, Tauros. On my opponent's side, the biggest threats that I see include the Cacturn and the Electabuzz because they both are. Uh, well, Electabuzz is fast, but um, Cacturn has Sucker Punch to hit fast with priority. So, uh, and a whole bunch of like walls, I guess. Uh, Cottony can be pretty annoying because of the sub C shenanigans like its older cousin. So let's see how everything came out with the battle and see who comes up victorious. So I managed to actually add a new background to it. I can change these up from time to time. I started with Ludicolo while my opponent leads off with uh, Cottony. I almost said Whimsicott there. I figured he might try and stun spore or something along those lines, so I go out to Wormadam to take it, but instead he tricks me a lagging tail, and I lose my leftovers. Uh, he taunts me and prevents me from doing any status move. I just purely wanted to scout out the rest of his moveset here. Uh, th it's really an interesting thing to see, a trick. Cottony. That's the good thing about House of Wolves. He likes to use a lot of sets that you don't normally see, and I like to battle against that. I go out to Ludicolo again, and I try to go for an Ice Beam, and it hits the Grumpig, who just takes it like nothing because of its ability and good special bulk, and he tries to go for a Signal Beam, which thanks to my uh, special bulk, it does nothing as well. Well, it does a significant chunk, but as you'll see, I don't believe it'll be able to break my substitute. And I believe that's true. Yes, it is. And I'm able to set up a leech seed here. Um, I believe in this one-on-one, -on -one, I would be able to come out on top because it doesn't appear that he has taunt to shut down shut me down for making subs and I could just keep going for leech uh giga giga drain ugh, and uh leech seed stalling him but I figure eventually at some point he's gonna want to switch out because of that fact that um I think Ludicolo and Grumpig both have the same base speed and since we're both specially defensive we might be equally um have speed ties the potential to have them so um it he, i know he has thunder wave on his moveset from later in the match spoiler alert so um it would be like a gamble if he got rid of my sub and he tried to go for thunder wave and i would be able to get up another one so Really, um, this Grump Pig has no business staying in. And I eventually figure this out, and I correctly predict the exact timing of the switch into his Cottony, and I go for the Ice Beam on it so it does a significant chunk, which is really, I guess, a really good play by my part. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he goes for another Taunt to shut me down, and I go for another Ice Beam, I wonder if that thing had a violet. It probably would have taken the ice beam a lot better. Maybe not have been to it KO'd. I'm not sure. Uh, and then he goes back to his Grumpig. He goes for a Psychic to break my sub. 
Uh, it's a good thing it got in the damage before on that. And I go for a Giga Drain just to get damage off it. Does a reasonable chunk considering the bulk. And he goes for the Thunder Wave here. So I think I was trying to go for a sub just to try and avoid that. But no, I just go for... Oh, right. Taunt. Yeah, I forget things like that. Uh, so he manages to slow down my sub seeder, which is really good for him because sub seeders don't like to be slow. Um, uh, Pokemon like Superior and Sceptile love their speed when they use Reach Speed because they can just keep going for fast subs and avoid all the damage and keep draining all that energy free. And he goes out to his. Tangler here correctly predicting a leech seed, which is pretty nice. I switch out predicting him to. I honestly don't know what a Tangler would do to a Ludicolo, but it turns out he has the Sludge Bomb, so he's an offensive variant. So it's not a defensive one as I initially thought, as most like 90% of them are. Maybe 85 at this point. I think the specs variant has grown a lot but if it is specs um jinx took it really nicely it shows its natural bulk i go for a nasty plot on a switch and i have a dilemma here because i'm poisoned so i can't just try and sub up on him or try and set up another nasty plot so i go for the side shock which is good because it hits him on his lower physical defense and it just about misses on taking him out and he goes for the signal beam and it takes out my shenane my jinx every jinx should be named shenane yeah that's a good revelation there um i go out to size me toad and i figure yes i can do this i can go for the one move to take him out and that is knockoff. And that is just as good as the rapid spin kill there. I, I, at least I'm counting it. Uh, I've never gotten a knockoff kill before. I, I'm not entirely sure whether I've gotten a rapid spin kill either. Oh, I'll try and do one. Um, He goes into his cacturn now. And I go for an ice punch similar to my last video. I always leave my water ground types and go for that ice move just to psych the other person out like why would you stay in yes because i'm that guy <laughs> um i see that he nasty plus so i can't really freely switch into anything so i do have to leave in my size me told here to die he does he get a crit i'm not entirely sure um uh it doesn't matter anyway um but, yeah, the Ice Punch damage from before is negated because of the Giga Drain recovery. I go out to my Tauros now because I'm Scarfed, and I see that he's special, so maybe he won't have Sucker Punch. And I go for the Rock Climb on his Shrew Manchu, and it does literally about a third. Uh, Tauros does have, he, he hits things like a truck. I go out into my Ludicolo as a counter to that in order to scare it away uh, with my Giga Drain and my Ice Beam. And I set up a sub on the Tangela switch. Tangela, I know it's Sludge Bomb, so I know it'll do damage to me. Um, what else? I, and I do have Ice Beam to hit it with. If it's Specs, it'll be taking a decent amount. And it does it does take it pretty nicely. Maybe it's a violate with offensive moves. I'm not entirely sure. But this sludge bomb here, it does do like a significant amount, especially defensive uh Ludicolo, so I'm leaning towards specs on that guy. Yeah, so luckily I do not get para hacks. That's a rare situation for me. Most of the times I actually do, and it's very um, unfortunate and terrible and really, really sad. <laughs> I go out to my Tauros to take 
I figure I could take any single hit and revenge kill him. But it turns out that he's special and carries Sucker Punch. So, um, my Tauros just die. Um, I switch out to my Lampen here, figuring since I'm a Violite, I can probably take any singular hit. So, I do manage to take a Sucker Punch. I'm not sure about the investment that he had in attack and special attack. But a max special attack flamethrower does cleanly take out the cacturn which is pretty nice um he goes out to his electabuzz here and i figured he might go for the electric move so i could go into my uh wormadam to absorb it and it does so wormadam uh taking names he sets up a substitute here and i find this kind of weird because as soon as i came in my ability didn't activate. And if you don't know, Wormadam's ability is anticipation, which let you know lets you know if your opponent has a super effective move against you. And that told me that he doesn't have Ice Punch on his physical set because we saw Thunder Punch as soon as I came in. And now we see Sucker Punch, which does a laughable amount of damage. And... So that means he doesn't have Ice Punch as a coverage move. So he probably has some sort of setup move like Meditate or not Cross Chop. And I don't think it gets like Fire. No, it would have told me if it had Fire Punch. So it probably has like Meditate to try and set up. But yeah, not every day that you see a physical Electabuzz. You see, um, whatchamacallit, uh physical magmar a lot but not the other one i go out to my lampent here trying to get back on track and i go for the flamethrower on the uh electabuzz i believe he got a toxic in on my lampent and with his santru when i had switched it in so that is slowly wearing me down to the point where i won't be able to switch in again due to the stealth rock uh, I believe I switched in as in like that in before rocks kind of thing because I figured he would try and set it up. I let it die to the Thunder Punch because of that. I go back out to my Wormadam because I figure it's the absolute wall to this Electabuzz and I just go for the Earthquake on his True Manchu and I try to Toxic Stall him. This is a. <laughs> excuse me. This is a. Um, toxic Solar set. It doesn't have rocks on it. I had it on my Sizing Tool, but I never got the opportunity to set it up. This has Toxic, Protect, Earthquake, and Sucker Punch. I actually was able to get a kill with this guy against Magnitude uh, on one of his streams. I got his Combuskin down like to like 7 HP, and I managed to Sucker Punch it to death, and he's like, I didn't even know this thing got Sucker Punch. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's one of his signature. It's the only one of the Wormadams that actually gets Sucker Punch. It has the highest attack also. Uh, from this point, I think his Electabuzz is his final guy, and I can just uh, Sucker Punch him to death from here. So I believe that is the battle. And, yep, that's the GG. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Thanks to House of Wolves for battling me. It's always a pleasure to battle you. Uh, I like original sets. I like um, to see uh, moves that you don't normally see on Pokemon. It keeps the game fresh and interesting and not dull uh, when you copy and paste teams. Mine's, I, I try to not copy and paste stuff all the time just to uh, be original but some stuff you kind of do have to like oh yeah this kind of makes sense if you want to use this Pokemon you have to use this particular EV thread and and or move set so yeah uh, it but it's a good thing about the NU tier the RU tier kind of w as well you can be very flexible uh, okay uh, thank you for watching again Sorry for my little extra uh, rant there. Um, see you next time. Goodbye.